Good afternoon traders, welcome back for your Easy Markets first market update for 2018. Well, we've certainly uh, seen a lot of market action to close off last year with no end in sight to the stocks rally that really, really was, even with the cryptocurrencies coming on form, that stocks rally that continued, particularly uh, in the last quarter of 2017, was the big story of 2017. For example, the NASDAQ ended up for the year up 28%, the Dow Jones up 25%, and of course the S&P 500, very similar numbers. A lot of this did hinge around that US tax reform plan. That was one of the big stories out of the Donald Trump campaign at the start of the year before. Uh, but will we see that reverse in 2018? That is the big, big question mark. Now, for the FX traders, I've got another really big question mark. You're going to see the theme that the US dollar, the rate hike path starts to become really important throughout 2018. Now, let me clarify. We've currently got a projection or a dot plot plan going forward from here till the end of 2018 for three more rate hikes for the US. If we get any wobbles or any really soft data points out of the US, particularly around the labor market, or obviously inflation, all of a sudden, all of that US dollar rally that has helped a lot of uh, the different major pairs move in the FX markets in 2017 will not only unravel, but it will come back to earth very quickly in our new year here. So the other big movers, I've got to get started for this year talking about commodities. There's a huge swell in December around oil, gold and how that has flowed through to, for example, the Aussie dollar against the greenback, the Kiwi against the greenback and also dollar CAD. So dollar CAD, for example, has not been at this level until you go back to the start of 2017 and looking very, very heavy here, even at 2550, looks like more downside pressure is still potentially in the pipeline. I say that because we had a very sneaky end of year rally Realistically, just for the last fortnight there in December, gold moved from around 1265, 1268, right up to 1309 US dollars where we're trading at the moment. Now, oil, I've been calling oil to $60 for a long time. As soon as we got to 59.50, I started rethinking that projection into this year for $64. We've not been disappointed on that oil rally. It's now around that $60.70 marker with some Iran headlines that are not supportive uh, and a bit of turmoil there. I think that story will fizzle out like most of those geopolitical headlines do. And the real frontline story, that Saudi Aramco listing, will start to really fire up the oil bulls. So don't be surprised if we see oil keep going higher. Whether it can get above $64 remains to be seen, but I certainly think it won't be too long until we're nudging those levels. So for the other commodity currencies, the Aussie now tipping 78.30, scratching its head on where to go next. Basically a very soft US dollar move caused that Aussie rally. But of course today we also saw some supportive China data and copper has been out of control to end last year as well. Uh, and separately of course is the Kiwi that made its way up to 71 in another commodity currency move. They've been the big story in December just to tie off last year. So where do we sit right at the moment? Europe's on a bit of a knife edge. The euro accelerated its way through 120. I'm really optimistic that I only not only called that level, but it, that it's holding that level. So the euro now settling down a little, just about 120.15 is really anyone's guess and a US dollar play for the next moves from here. Now guys, don't forget, there's only some minor data throughout this short week to get us started for the year. But what is important is Friday's US payroll numbers and of course the uh, ISM manufacturing numbers as well. So the US dollar this year, it's all about will they actually rate hike three times or will that projection change? As we speak, looking on my Reuters terminal this morning, we've got a 14% chance of a January rate hike. In my opinion, that should be more like a 0% chance. And then of course in March, we're looking at about a 69% probability for the first rate hike. So the data points out of the US need to be supportive for that leading into March, in my opinion. For that reason, dollar yen's been very quiet, dangerously quiet. 
Whereas the other majors, the Euro and the Sterling against the Greenback are both at very, very high levels. So for mine, I think the Sterling keeps its rally and momentum going towards that 136 benchmark. And then it is down to the Brexit headlines for where the Sterling goes next. But just to finish up with the Euro and that being the king of the US uh, dollar majors, that can really accelerate. The Euro is the one for mine that can really show us the power of a US dollar being overbought and that trade reversing. So if I'm right, we see the euro take a run to 21, 21.50, and then again it comes down to the euro uh, at data points to see if it can accelerate even further. As we speak, we've seen Bitcoin have a very soft start to this year. Bitcoin's back now to 13,000, just about right on that 13,000 level. Um, it does look like it could make a run to 10,000 from here. But last week I was convinced we would see it back at 18,000 and scratching our head to see if we got a rally to 20,000. Put all of that aside, I think the very soft opening this year and some rotation into smaller coins, it's a great opportunity on our platform because with easy markets you can buy or sell. You've got that ability to short Bitcoin if you do think like I do that it may make a run lower. If you need a hand or don't understand anything with your trading, by all means, just reach out to us on the dealing desk at Easy Markets anytime.